in the name of God, the most merciful, the most compassionate. My dear brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum. I wish you much help wherever you are. Uh, with all my regards, we continue in our discussion that was previously recorded under the title of Hezbollah, Hezbollah Shaitan, or the party of God and the party of Satan. We briefly mentioned that at every given moment in our daily lives, we are either implementing the desires of God or the desires of Satan, and nothing else in between. In this discussion, we will expound briefly on the very famous saying that every day is Ashura and every place or every land is Karbala. Before I begin that, I would like to briefly mention a historical event whereby Prophet Abraham was supposed to, by the order of God, to sacrifice his son Ishmael. As you all as you are all aware, he was at a very old age, uh, about 80 plus years old, and he had a son, but uh, just glancing at that moment of his life and understanding and realizing what a valuable gift and precious uh, moment that he was undergoing, yet uh, because he wanted to prove his true love to God, he was ordered to kill, to sacrifice his son in the way of God through a ritual in Mecca. Uh, but when he passed all these tests, in other words, he was more than willing, he was more than desirous to undergo this test and also become victorious, and not only him, but also his son. Uh, however, after passing these tests, through the will of God, angel uh, came by and brought a baby lamb or sheep and asked Prophet Abraham to sacrifice that animal instead. Uh, however, there is something that you may or may not have heard uh, in the interim, and that is that uh, Prophet Abraham seeks refuge in God and says, God, you pass me through many, many tests and I seemingly became victorious in them. However, you did not really let me proceed to the fullest extent whereby you will take the most desirable thing in my life. Of course, he was mentioning about the sun and thereby my heart will be torn in pieces. And God, through angels, uh, brings down, if you will, in my verbiage, uh, a narrative of Ashura, where Prophet Ibrahim's great, 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 great son was murdered brutally among his comrades and uh, friends and relatives in the most brutal fashion that history has ever recorded and their tents were set on fire and all kinds of horrific uh, events that we are not going to discuss at this point. Uh, and then it was at that time that he shouts loudly and uh, he admits that his heart is indeed torn apart and he has then reached that manifestation, the truest and the highest manifestation of exerting his life towards his master. Uh, in the previous discussion, we mentioned that uh, everything that we do, it is either godly or, or satanic. In other words, there is no third alternative. We only have two choices. We actually encounter this kind of phenomena in our daily lives almost at any given instance, let alone days or hours. So many decisions come along our way and we have to choose between right and left, between wrong and right, between the right
right side and the left side. And this is basically in many, many applications that in our daily lives we are encountering this uh, decision making. Uh, with this discussion, it is my contention that we are either fulfilling anything that we do in our lives that is desires to Imam Hussein, if you believe in this school of thought, if not, it is godly. And the opposing view is if we are implementing or saying, and even if we are thinking about something, it is either to fulfill the desires of Yazid, and if you don't believe in Yazid or you don't think such a person ever existed, then you can think of it as satanic. It is my contention that the truest uh, manifestation of God on earth is the Imam Hussein, may peace be upon him, and likewise the, the, the most tangible exemplification of Satan on earth is Yazid, the son of Moabia, who is in turn son of Abu Sufyan uh, at the time of the Prophet. Of course Yazid was not at the time of the Prophet. Uh, the, uh, the thinking that we are either doing something uh, of Hussein or of Yazid is extremely important because of two implications that it brings forth. Number one, we only have two alternatives, just like the, the previous discussion of having two alternatives of either godly or satanic. Therefore, if you are concentrated, if you are a believer in this school of thought, you can think of this, you can make a dictation in your mental mind that you are performing and you are implementing something that is uh, of uh, desire and it is of acceptance to Imam Hussein al -Islam or to Yazid. And the second implication of this thinking is that uh, we do not ever have had anything in the history that a third party has emerged, as discussed earlier, only two parties. However, there is a very fine point in here that we need to understand and appreciate, and that is the, the party of Yazid has never proclaimed that they are Yazidi they have always claimed that they are Husseini. In other words, if you think of this as a party of light and a party of darkness, this party or this group of darkness has never proclaimed that they are the party of darkness. They have always proclaimed otherwise. This is very, very important to realize because there has only been, this is paraphrased a different way, there has only been one school of thought throughout the history of mankind, and of course, that is uh, all the manifestation of God to whom we worship, and we all came from one God, and not two or three. Uh, with that thinking, with that uh, tool of discernibility, I will leave you with that uh, thought,